Hello ladies, welcome to My Metamorphosis. Today I wanted to talk to you about a story uh, of my life, a personal story of my life that I have been sharing here lately in my Toastmasters session in reference to how I grew up, the traumatic experiences that I've encountered along my journey. And first I want to just start by saying that it doesn't matter, you know, the things that you've gone through. It does matter. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Because you, if you have breath in your body, have the ability to make a decision to make a change for your future. So, rewind back to the beginning. This month, May, is Mental Health Awareness Month. And I wanted to talk a little bit about that, my experience with mental health. I, myself, personally have not experienced mental health issues. However, my mother suffers with um, paranoia and schizophrenia. When I was about four years old, my mother left my father, and we set out on this journey. We kind of lived our lives as nomads, just kind of living here and there. And the reason why is because my mother feared that there was someone trying to kill us. And it was always some sort of group or gang or mafia or something that was always troubling her mind. And because of that, from the time I was four years old until I was in the 10th grade, we moved all over Houston, Texas, and we ended up moving out of town. Often homeless, my mother packing our bags and packing our clothes in garbage bags, living here and there, living in strange places, um, secondhand clothes, um, secondhand clothes, yes, and um, just always being a new kid in school was, was trying getting someplace and becoming, you know, familiar and, you know, selling in and then boom, having to move again. Like I said, it happened for a long period of time. And just along the way, just experiencing struggles of my father was absent. So we had that, you know, missing the love piece from a male figure in my life. And my mother with her mental illness was not able to be the mother that I needed her to be in my life. And that caused a lot of challenges for me. She had her own struggles, but that also caused challenges for myself. And I grew up looking out and comparing myself to other people you know looking at them how their lives were better than mine was and how they dressed better than I did and how they had both their parents and this built up a lot of frustration in me it built up jealousy it built up just anger and, and uh, resentment towards my mother and my father and I just grew up with all these different issues you know bile up inside of me but however I wanted there was always something on the inside of me that was like man there's got to be something better than this I knew that when I became an adult that I didn't want to have my children experience these things that I had experienced. And so I wanted to make a change. And it took many years for me to realize what this change was. And I had I always had this flicker of hope that rain, remained on the inside of me. Despite all the things that I had gone through and um, the abuse that I had experienced um, at a young age of 16, I still wanted I wanted more. Why did, that ha- why did this happen to me? And I found my purpose from my pain, my pain to my purpose, and I found it in a butterfly. And that's the reason why I created Metamorphosis Women's Encounter, is because I wanted to be the example, the tra- trailblazer, if you will, in a situation where I'm talking to other women. It's like, yeah, I know, I understand what you went through. I've been through something very similar, or I understand pain altogether. You know, there's no level of pain like you will, she went through this and I went through that, and her pain is greater than mine. No, pain is pain, I don't have a level on it. However, the same you can still overcome those things and just pretty much just realizing who you are and who God has called you to be and embracing that and like I said it's how metamorphosis was birthed it was birthed out of a butterfly and the life cycle of the butterfly we're all born with a purpose and you know life that caterpillar stage kind of takes us you know something that's very unattractive it kind of takes us through changes in life and we're in our environment, we're a product of our, env- product of our environment, and we just want to live and survive. And then you have that moment where it's like metamorphosis, is that cocoon, it's like change. Change is possible. And you begin to remove the toxins of relationships from your life, and you begin to get the education and placing yourself around people and saving your soul, allowing God to save your soul from a burning hell. And finally, the light shines forth, and you say, hey, I know who I am and whose I am. And that's the message that I want to get out to you today. 
that we all go through like different trials and tribulations in our life that set our life on a, like an alternate course. However, we have the power on the inside of us. We have been given the tools and the techniques. They're all laid out there. Sometimes we have to seek it out, but it's right there. And I just want to talk to you more about it. And I guess I can get more into it because my time is running out on my phone. It's getting ready to clock down. But anyway, I am so excited about this opportunity to be able to share with you. And I just hope that this has blessed somebody today and that you don't have to be the product of your environment. You have the opportunity to change. You have decisions and choices that you can make. So go for it. Go for it. Dream big. You know, dream huge and therefore you can get the big. You know, I heard my pastor say that before. Dream huge and at least and at least get the big. But if you don't dream at all, then what? You just lose all together. So take care. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.